You guys know Brandon Vera. <laughs> One FC's heavyweight champion of the world. Brandon Vera is the new heavyweight champion. The guys just moved back to the Philippines and called Manila home. I love it here. Every the training's good. Pagkain, mga tao like. But he's struggling a little bit. He's up against the biggest opponent of his life and he doesn't know how to handle it. So he called me for help. Yeah, me. traffic man. Grabe talaga. See, this guy may have gone up against people like John Jones and the likes of them, but he's nothing against Manila traffic. Which is why we decided to Manila proof his ride. Manila proof. Manila proof your ride? Well, no wonder you're stressed. <laughs> so this is it? This is the LXV. Your van? Yeah. Man, it looks like a fridge. Yeah. <laughs> please, please, please. Tunga o. Tunga o You know, this, this, is a great, <laughs> this is a great test bed. I'll tell you why. I mean, uh oh. If, if I was going to work, if I was an artist working on a canvas, this would be it. It's good. We can make it gooder. Okay, gooder. We'll make it puede, gooder. puede. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you how we do it. Alright, man. It's not... Actually, it's quite comfortable back here. So what would you want to You know, I really don't have any complaints about the design or the four captain's chairs in the LXV, but in the Grandia, for me, you know, coming from training, I want to lay down. And even though these seats are captain's chairs, as big as I am and as heavy as I am, they're uncomfortable after a while. So I want to get a, maybe I only need three of the chairs in here. You don't carry a lot of people. No, I don't care a lot of people at all. It's really just for our personal use. My training gear, I'd like to get a bed, maybe an L-shaped bed in here, maybe like a charging station so we can ah, stay yeah, connected, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I mean like, you, that's one thing, I, I mean, I oh. love this van, um, but I notice that I don't have any charging sockets here. No USB ports anywhere. No USB, yeah. not, not even a 12 volt. Like yes. 12 volt is only up front. Way up front. Way up front, <laughs> front like, yeah. I personally don't know what's going to happen to your van, but I bring, I'm going to bring you to a specialist. Okay. Yeah, this guy is like, he's like the man. He's like the Gracie, the Royce Gracie, Royce Gracie family oh. of car models. Okay, okay. Right? So this, you can't get any more black belt. Okay. What size you go? Is it black, purple? What's the... Uh, black, and then you have stripes on your black, but then once you get to Helio Gracie's lineage, and there's only a couple people who ever got to the red belt. Okay. Atoy's red belt. Man. Atoy. Atoy's red belt. Oh, All right. Heard I've heard of Atoy, yeah. Okay. Atoy's red belt. Okay. Of car modification and uh, basically transforming rides. He's got this tagline he calls, You Imagine, We Create. And today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to him so that nice. he can sort of, he can't let him work his magic, all right? Okay, okay. The, it's like going to a fine dining restaurant. You may not get a say in the menu, all right? Okay. Just warning you in advance. But it's Atoy, so I'm game. Yeah, That's it's yeah, Atoy. The red belt. You have he, to let him do his work. <laughs> trust me? I trust you, James. Right. Let's make it good there. We'll make it good <laughs> Hi, Atoy. Hi. Nice meeting nice you. This to meet is the you. champ. Nice yeah, to meet Atoy. you. Yeah, Atoy. I know him. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, very yeah, nice to meet you, Gian. Very nice to meet you. What's that? I need your help, man. Yeah. I need your expertise. Uh, <laughs> Brandon doesn't know about Manila Proof. He doesn't yeah, know. I know. He's, <laughs> a, yeah, he's <laughs> a perfect face. Yeah. I'm like the new kid in class that everybody's yeah. making fun of. I don't know what it is yet. Yeah. So we we got to help him survive. You know, he's been, he's building your, he's pretty much his whole life here now. Okay. Yeah. So it's not just a Whoa. visit. This is like a career move for him. Yeah. New gyms coming up. He's even going to star in a movie soon with Ann Curtis. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> he's going to be spending a lot of time on the road. This is his ride. Okay. Over here. Yeah. Um, it's very plain, but it's a good, it's a good canvas to work with, right? Okay. I know. It's stock. It's stock. Bone stock. Yep. Yeah. I haven't done anything. Nothing at all. Okay. Can you work with us? Yeah, of course. Uh, let's go in. So we sat down with the guy for just a little while, basically got what he needed, what he could live without in his van, and then we sort of drew a little bit of a layout for him got a bit of a rough idea and then we just kicked him out of the office but you know what nobody wants to be the one to tell the heavyweight champ of the world to catch a cab home so uh, it was my idea I gave him my car to use for like however long it took in this case it was like almost three weeks 
what is this going on? How did I agree so quickly? I know, right? You're just like, okay, the day started out, okay, now you're short of a car, but you know what? This is how much faith. This is my personal car. You're welcome to it. Take it. It's yours. You can uh, have it until we sort out your ride. Okay? Thank you so much, James. I really right. appreciate it. Marami salamat. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon for the grand reveal. Manila proof! After two pretty tense weeks, and I only say tense because I had my personal car with Brandon the whole time, other than that it was pretty smooth sailing, it was time to hand the car over to Brandon, but it didn't seem right to just give it like this, I mean, being a gift to the champ from us, kind of needed to wrap it up, and there's nobody but nobody in the business that wraps it any better than the folks at Foiler Car. So I went and saw my buddy Lester, told him exactly what we wanted to do with the van, and uh, gave him as well some creative license to do so. Now, this place is really interesting because they really do customize. They are used to doing supercars, and uh, they're pretty much doing this for the champ. And so we had to go into a drawing room in the same way that we did with Atoy. You have to sit with them, you have to speak about the guy, the personality, what you want, what you're after. Everything is pretty customized down to the last millimeter. So you're saying this is like privileged stuff. This oh, is not right. every client can walk this in here. This is where we keep our biggest secret. First okay. of all, we, we, we talk about who's the client, what's his personality, is he a corporate guy, is he a playboy, is he a rock star? So three of these guys never sleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we talk about them, so we render their cards. Well, he doesn't really know what we're doing, right? right? He, he's, right. he's putting blind so trust in us. So who's um, approving this? Me. All right. <laughs> unless, it, unless it goes wrong, then, then right, it's you, right, okay? okay? So um, I, I sort of see him as, a, he's a guy's a warrior. He's oh, yeah, a, right. you know, he doesn't like, he's a fighter. He's a warrior. He's Can always. Can I see his in... photo, guys? Can I see his uh, Brandon's photo? Yeah, let's pull him up. He's yeah. a, he, he's all over Google. There was a Brandon Vera yeah. scandal not long ago. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Brandon. If you're watching this. <laughs> so anyhow, I believe that he he fights for a living. He does. He's a current heavyweight champ. He's uh, now be, uh, gonna be a celebrity, I guess. Well, I he's heard. he's going into movies. Okay. He's he's got his uh, business interest in gyms. Who knows? Probably there he is. There's there. He's like our Filipino rock. You know the rock, I know. the movie hair, star. I think so. Brandon Bear is like our version of the rock. Exactly. Okay. Got so, the same sort of look. See, look at that. I think he's a, a fighter, bad boy. You know, but so I think we have to do like a, a, a battleship finish or something. That, that works. That works. Yeah. Because he's always in battle. I On mean, the he's gray like side or a ten black UFC side. fights. And Matt will be nice to him. Matt, definitely, Matt, yeah. I, I want a matte finish. I think he wants one too. Shoot, guys, you have to finish up the design. So we have a matte black, anthracite. Maybe not black. Uh, something, something, mm, black is kind of common. Battleship gray. What's that look like? It's like a dry. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, it's stealthy. like a primer. Oh, all yeah. right, all right. This yeah, is yeah. what the United States uh, battleship uses. Okay, yeah. okay. So what's next after we pick the design? Now we're going now to the second step. All right, which second is? The second step is our master cutter. Okay. Towards to ISO 9000 series. 
Now, after choosing the color, don't worry, it wasn't yellow, it was Battleship Gray. And there's one guy who does nothing but this. This is his entire job is just measuring up and cutting all the foil so that it goes over to the next room, which is really important because this is a climate controlled room that is airtight and dust free which may seem a little overkill, but it's about creating standards and working towards an ISO accreditation. You also have to consider that any contaminant, no matter how small, can have a disastrous effect. If I'm not mistaken, even a small piece of dust creates a huge bubble, right? Even a small, tiny air, you can see it over the Yeah, because it's not like, you know, exactly. it creates an air pocket or something. That's a difference, control group. Take care of her, right? Let's Sorry. surprise him. Let's make this I'll one I'll come count. and show you. Okay, <laughs> bye. bye. Are you ready? I love the shirt, man. I love the shirt. Manila proof. Manila proof. Let's this find is, out what's going on. This is how we do it, man. Manila proof. Hi. My are boss. You ready? Hi, boss. How are you? Come on. I'm, I'm, I can't wait. I'm dying to show you the car, but there's a couple of things I need to tell you about. Uh oh. Um, no, it's, uh, it's more. Everyone wanted to get involved. There's more things on it. There's like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like a Chang'e now, you know? <laughs> People have just started, no, it's great. Okay, um, okay. Okay, so are you ready to meet the gang? Oh, oh please, are please. Are you ready to see the car? I'm excited, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited, yeah. Oh my goodness! Wow, 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 wow! The bed! This is an L shaped bed. Yeah! Oh my goodness! And easily, just in case you want to put a luggage. Oh, oh. You can remove this all the way, oh. so oh. to put more space luggage. Oh, so okay. This one at the bottom, you can put Pull it all in. off. Yeah. Nice. So what's nice about this, if you have uh, so many things, you don't need this bed, this, uh, oh, oh. this, uh, not pretty, uh, this uh, sideways bed, you can just remove it, keep it in your house. So you can use this space for luggage. Wow. And this one is a customized Eurotex foam. For you, for me, Kasha. So, yeah, it's a 75 inches uh, length uh, with a 26 feet uh, oh. width. So 
And what's nice is if you want to sniff, you can just easily close everything. <laughs> so. Oh I my like goodness, Atoy! Get the accent light. Like. Oh my so, goodness. Okay, this one. So. Wow. We have this accent light. Then, if you want the regular light, you can just press one yeah. tap is a regular light. <laughs> Second tap is a warm light. Third tap is a mix of two. Oh so, my goodness. Yeah. Wow, a toy, what? Toy. We also have the imported curtain. Uh, it's a it's a curtain that you use in most of the imported band. Oh, this is so nice. It, it won't rattle, it's parang there's no noise. Oh, oh. So while you're driving. So. Tahinig na eh, parang and, bahay na eh. And then, what's nice next is the entertainment. I hear you ranting about traffic now. <laughs> Friendship is over, right? I promise no more traffic. No more traffic. ranting. No more ranting. I've been Manila proof. <laughs> Even when we go slow, you always, you never know. Have to. Kailangan talaga. Remember, children. The Brandon told you. Always buckle up. <laughs> <laughs>